Joining us now to discuss, we welcome in our panelists, former White House Deputy Director of Strategic Communications, Roma Duravi. Also joining us, the host of Watchdog on Wall Street radio show, Chris Markowski, and also former Georgia Congressman Bob Barr panel. Thank you for coming on today here. All right, we heard the response from the White House there. They've deflected. They're saying the DOJ is going to take care of it. And in case you were wondering where Americans stand on the issue, we got some new polling from the Trafalgar Group. It shows the majority of, of Americans are opposed to the reported payments to migrants, uh, almost 57% saying they should get nothing at all. Uh, Bob Barr, I'll go to you, former congressman here. What do you make of the White House really punting to the DOJ and not answering reporters' questions about these alleged payments? This encapsulates the, one, the disarray in this administration, but two, it illustrates very clearly to the American people that we have a president who is not in control of his own government. Generally, a president, even if he or she doesn't know exactly what's going on, will at least provide a definitive answer and then straighten it out later on. For an administration to bumble around both uh, in responses by the president himself giving conflicting answers and now a press secretary for the president uh, simply refusing to answer a very, very appropriate question, saying, oh, that's the Department of Justice, tells us everything we need to know that this president is not in control of our government, and that ought to scare the bejesus out of all of us. Well, you know, to, to me, covering this, it seems, it takes me back to the Afghanistan withdrawal and, and who was responsible. Remember, the State Department said, oh, we're refer you to the Pentagon. The Pentagon says, oh, we're refer you to the State Department. It was back and forth and back and forth, and you're really just trying to nail down, uh, trying to get answers out of this. Roma, I want to go to you and, and control. I'm going to go through the, the, the next two full screens here. Another Trafalgar group asked if the Biden administration should close the border until a solution is reached. Look at, look at this here. 55% say yes. That's the majority. 32% saying no. Another poll asking Americans if this, migrants should be able to sue the federal government. And you can imagine 66% said no. Only 77 or 17% said yes. Roma, your thoughts. Well, it's very clear what's going on. And we unfortunately have gone from a country under Donald J. Trump where we had safe, secure, closed borders. We had a uh, record low migrant crossings of illegal immigrants to a country where Joe Biden has not only opened our borders, but he's now offering monetary uh, incentives to get people to come here. And that is certainly not what we need as a country. We once had a president who put Americans first, and now we have a president who's passing infrastructure plans that would increase taxes for Americans making over $200,000 a year. That means that you have Americans who are not only trying to get out of this pandemic, get back to work, deal with the vaccine mandate, but now they're going to have increased taxes while we're just forking out $450,000 to illegal immigrants coming over our border. None of this makes any sense. And that is why you see a lot of opposition from the American people. I read a poll that said two thirds of Americans are opposed to this right. new payment right. that they're recommending. Well, Roma, you mentioned the taxes, inflation. Uh, Chris, I'm going to read you a number. I know you're expert on the economy here. Wholesale prices, they rose 8.6% from a year ago in October. Uh, that's new information from the Labor Department today. Uh, and I guess it all kind of adds up, right? You understand why Americans uh, are not happy to see that people who are crossing into the country illegally, mind you, are the ones getting paid. Well, you know, I, I, we can go back to uh, it depends on what the meaning of the word transitory is. I mean, it's just the, 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 the nonsense that they've been spewing out in regards to inflation has gotten patently uh, absurd. You actually have other networks trying to say that it's actually a good thing uh, that uh, inflation is happening. They're actually trying to spin it in that direction. It's that somehow because the economy is improving. That's why prices are going through the roof. Uh, I'll tell you something that no family said ever. I like paying more for my grocery bill. That never happens. I like paying more at the pump. That never happens. So yes, you know, we're getting hit with all this stuff. You can look across the board, whether it be used cars, whether it be fuel, whether it be energy. Wait till this winter uh, when we start seeing our electric and our oil heating bills. It's out of control.
Yeah, uh, the energy secretary said that. You're going to pay more for your, for your heating uh, this winter. Uh, that can't sit well with a lot of folks, especially if they're cash-strapped at this time, for, for whichever reason. Bob Barr, final thoughts from you on this one. The president and the vice president slipping in polls. A new USA Today poll show Biden's approval rating plummeting again. 38% approve, 59% disapprove. But then there's this. Vice President Kamala Harris's approval rating down 28% at approval there. 51% disapprove. Uh, again, that by USA Today. Bob Barr, your response to that. Is, this, is there a disconnect with this White House and the American people? There's a disconnect here between what this administration is saying and what the American people are thinking and saying themselves. But what worries me even more than that is the fact that foreign leaders, including our adversaries, see those same polls. Uh, and they see an administration that is in disarray and is extremely weak. And that's when you have a very real possibility of uh, aggressive action by our adversaries. Mm. Uh, of course, we've seen uh, China with their mock U.S. warships that they've been building over those satellite images and their uh, space weapons as well. So something we're going to keep an eye on for sure. Roma Dabari, Chris Markowski, Bob Barr, thank you, panel, for joining us today.